We'll guide you through what to do when your Xbox Series S or Series S controller is not connecting. If you guys find this useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's jump into this. So we will be covering three methods. The first one being to for you to make sure that your controller is powering on. To check that, you will either need to select this uh, cable that comes with your console and plug it inside of your xbox controller this way when you connect it uh, using the wire and you press the button on here the xbox button if the button starts to light up that means that it's able to power on if you want to use it wirelessly and it's not powering on there might be an issue with your batteries i, re I recommend to s swap it over to flip it over i mean and to check this compartment right here and swap out the batteries for a new pair because those ones might be out of power so that is the first step and now let's move over to the second one the second one is to hard reset your controller so what I mean by that, your controller from time to time might start to experience issues that are mostly related to the software inside of it, and you might need to reset that software at a, at a certain point after a certain time of use. To do that, you need to disconnect it from the cable if you have it plugged in, or if you have it turned on wirelessly, just press and hold this button right here for about 10 to 15 seconds. Let's do that. And now, after we have done that, we have turned off the controller. As you can see, this light is no longer uh, lit up. That means that the controller is offline. After you have done this, you wait for a bit of, for a couple of seconds, and then you flip over your controller and just push on this compartment right here until you open it. After you have opened it, you take the batteries out, you unplug them, and leave it the, leave the controller like this for about. 10 to 15 seconds until it fully resets. Then, after you have waited that amount of time, about the 10 to 15 seconds, you take the controller and you plug the batteries back in. And now you need to turn on your controller. Let's see if it works. And here we have successfully turned on our controller. As soon as it starts to light up, that means that the controller is on. And for the final and last step uh, that we recommend, uh, we recommend to turn off your console. So you might ask how to turn off your console. Uh, we won't recommend to use your uh, controller or anything. We just recommend to take your console in hand, like we have right here, and press and hold the Xbox button that is located right here for about 10 to 15 seconds. Let's do that. We hold it until it stops. And now we have successfully turned off our console. After we have turned it off, we can just continue to turn it on back again. And we have successfully uh, restarted our Xbox console. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.